Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Oscar Outdoors. Join me in this one as a hammock camp in heavy rain. Listen to that rain. It starts off therapeutic, doesn't it? Then it just becomes almost like Chinese water torture. <laughs> Right, so welcome back everyone. Uh, those of you that watched my last video, um, camping anyway, um, down at Lady Bower Reservoir or Bamford Edge, um, I was quite disappointed with the audio in that. So I've done a bit of research and gone away and bought some new products. So today I'm filming with some filming lights. As you can see, it's quite bright. If I just cover one up, see it's gone quite diff a, a lot duller. Uh, and I'm also filming with a microphone with like a little wind muff on. Um, so hopefully the audio is going to be a little bit better. Um, but I, I'm just going to get set up now, uh, so I'll bring you back shortly. Right, so I'm just about finished setting up now. So Snug Pack Tropical Hammock, Hammock Cocoon, Premium Butterfly Air Pillow, and the self-inflating midi mat which I've not blown up yet because I don't know if I'm going to need that or not because although it's raining uh, it's not really cold yet um, but yeah I love the sound like can you hear the rain on the tap? I'll sleep tonight right bring you back in a bit so yeah I'm just in my uh, hammock now just keeping out of the rain I'm taking off my uh, poncho just to Give yourself a bit of breathability. So yeah, I'm just going to go through some of the gear that I've got brought with me tonight. So I've got my uh, cook set. If you've not already seen this, um, I've done a video on this. So I'll leave a, a link to that or I'll flash it up on screen now in one of these videos in that one. In this corner. So that's my cook set. Got all my herbs and spices, knives, little grills, uh, all kinds of little stuff in there. Uh, next up I've got uh, a new stove that I've, I've purchased from Amazon. Uh, it's like a, a jet boil copy, and you'll have seen these on Wish. Uh, but I purchased mine from Amazon. That's just the uh, the rubber lid. I mean, full size gas bottle, and in this, so this is like your uh, your boiling kettle, but it just attaches to your stove, attaches to the top of a gas bottle, and acts. Not identical to a jet boil for probably a quarter of the price. I think it was about 22, 23 pound. I think um, I'll leave a link to it in the description. And once I've uh, got my head around it a little bit more, I'll do a, a review video of it for you. But yeah, that's uh, what I'll be cooking with tonight. And what I'm actually cooking, uh, my wife went shopping for me, and she's been down to, to local butchers and picked up a lovely bit of uh, peppered steak you can tell I didn't want my dry bag smelling can't you? I've got an one in but... yeah it's a uh, local butcher support local where you can you know in these times it's all president is it so we need to be supporting each other yeah a lovely bit of peppered steak which you can see in more detail later on and then some spicy Mexican rice and then obviously I've got some coffee with me as well. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'll uh, get set up for cooking. And then I'll bring you back. Oh, and what, before I go, I've also brought with me as well for while I'm wandering around camp. My uh, new headlight. This is the HM65 Shadow Master. HM65 R Shadow Master, should I say, by Phoenix. Again, I've done a review video on this. 
Um, if you've not already seen it, I'll leave that up here somewhere for you. Right, I'm going to get set up for cooking. Alright, so just while I'm uh, getting set up for my tea, I'm just going to show you what I'm actually filming with tonight. So obviously the, the cube light's on top, and then the microphone there is, it's called MCO Plus, I believe. Um, I'll leave links to everything that I've got on this rig here uh, in the description box below. And obviously the the filming cage rig as well there. So hopefully this should improve my uh, audio and my lighting issues that I've been having recently. Right, let's get set up and get some food and the coffee on the go because I'm absolutely starving. So yeah, first things first, we're going to uh, just throw a windshield up. Don't need to be uh, too wide. It's not actually that windy. I'm going to use the, uh, the little cup pot that we've uh, just purchased. So yeah, on the bottom of this, you can see there's like a little L-shaped cut out there. And all you do is marry the lug up to that. And then just give it a quick twist. And let's just set up. And you guys put on. That's it. And then we are. Uh, ready to go. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to pop some water in. Should be enough for a brew. Pop the uh, lid on. Make sure the handles are the way I can reach them. Find me lighter. There we go. So yeah, just while that's uh, boiling away, I'm going to show you now properly what I've got for my dinner. Let me know in the description what you think about the audio and lighting now. We've uh, purchased things to improve it. So this is a peppered steak from local butchers. Just gonna uh, cook that straight on there in a second as well. I'm season it up a little bit of, to my own liking. Using my trusty old cook set. Now then, what do we go for? Have a bit of salt and pepper there. So yeah, just a bit of salt and pepper. It's really boiling quick, is that that water? Uh, lightly seasoned there. And lightly seasoned here. Right, it's time to get my water off. Okay, so the beauty of these once you've turned it off, you can actually just pour it straight out. Just 
just enough. All right, throw my coffee in. Throw me a little bag of coffee. Never know how many you're going to have, are you? Yeah. I think these are Maxwell House mockers, I believe, by the smell of them. That's it. And give that a bit of a stir and get back on with cooking. Winner. It's the beauty of having a cook set with everything in that you need. So I encountered the problem. I'll, I'll leave the little outtake in. But yeah, I had a problem putting the pan directly on the stove. It just took the gas straight out. So I've just got the grill out of my cook set and just raised it up about seven mil at most, and now it's working perfectly. So yeah, also in my little cook set, got a little spatula that I'm going to need very shortly, that I've cut down to size. Look at that. It's one good bit of meat, that. Unfolded the steak now. Need a load more time on this side, don't we? Looking nice though, looking nice. So yeah, just while we're finishing off cooking, I just want to bring you back. Uh, again, let me know uh, as the audio improved, as the lighting improved. Um, I'm always looking to improve, so any sort of help and advice would be greatly appreciated
on my chewing coffee. But yeah, what's your thoughts on solo camping? Do you prefer solo camping? Do you prefer to camp with a buddy? You know I go out with English Woodsmen quite regularly. But yeah, do you prefer to be on your own or do you prefer to go with friends? I've been on my own. I've got time to think and relax and not worry about what I'm doing. And the rain's eased off as well. For now anyway. Right, finish cooking. and get a bit of smoke away for you. Look at that. Who says you have to come to the woods and eat pot noodles then? <laughs> you can see that video I done actually. Or recreating his first ever camping video. I really quite enjoyed that one actually. That's not my first camping one. Really. My first camping one with that. I'm not sure. I'll have a look back through. See how we did. Oh. Yeah. Perfect. For me anyway. So yeah, if you did notice then, I do cut my meat left-handed. I don't know why that is. Because I am actually right-handed. But yeah, I cut left-handed. Which is a good thing, because my uh, eldest daughter, Ellie, she's left-handed, so it was easy enough to teach her. I suppose I should have taught her the correct way though, shouldn't I? But never mind. Are you a lefty or a righty? <laughs> God. Right, I'm going to finish this up, bring you back shortly. Cheers. Well, I enjoyed that. <laughs> oh. It's time to kick back and relax now. While we're on that subject, what do you do when you're camping alone? All oh, these little bugs now, get away. Um, what do you do when you're camping alone? When you've got this time in between, you know, some people read, some people uh, listen to Audible, some people watch films. What do you do? Yeah. Looking for inspiration really, because there's only so much Netflix and Audible you can listen to, isn't there? Right, I'm going to get tidied up, um, and then I might just kick back in the hammock. See you in a bit. So I've been laid in my hammock now for... Probably two or three hours just chilling and um, listening to some audible and the rain has just been relentless, it's just been non-stop all night long just patter 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 it's quite therapeutic um, but it's coming up 11 o'clock now I'm going to try and get some shut eye So unless anything eventful happens overnight, I'll see you in the morning. Again, thanks for watching the video this far. Um, if, remember, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel by clicking on one of these here. But yeah, for now, I'm going to get some shut eye, and I'll see you in the morning. 
of the rain's been relentlessly battering all night. Just listen to that rain. Starts off therapeutic, doesn't it? Then it just becomes almost like Chinese water torture. <laughs> Give the pun. But yeah, I like the sound of it. I like being in nature. But after a while, you just been shut up now and cut. At least it's not as windy as it was earlier. So slightly you can see on the top. But yeah, I'm gonna try and get some sleep now. should be and that's because the rain kept me awake till around about four o'clock so when I finally did fall asleep it was a bit late <laughs> oh. so I'm gonna have to end this video here you don't want to watch me back up anyway so if you like the video give it a thumbs up comment let me know what you thought about it if you're not already please subscribe to the channel pressing on one this somewhere I'll probably put it here actually and I'll see you later on in the video